Welcome back to Hobby Universe Outdoors. Today we're going to be installing this 54 inch mower deck on that John Deere X590 garden tractor. Now that mower deck was on the tractor previously. I just took it off temporarily because I wanted to do a test fit. I have a 2012 snowblower that's not directly compatible with that 2024 model tractor. So I had to get an adapter kit and there were some modifications I had to make to the snowblower itself and, and get that kit installed. So I wanted to do that before the snow started to fly. I did make a video of that. So if that or things like this interest you, make sure you hit that subscribe button. For today, we're just going to be installing this mower deck. I'm going to show you my process for that. It's pretty straightforward. Let's get started. Before we get too far into this, I wanted to talk about the belts real quick. So you've got two belts on the mower deck. You've got the upper belt, and this is the one that will attach to the underside of the tractor, take the power from the motor, transfer it down to this, to this mower deck. And you've got the lower belt, and this is the one that will put power to all three of the mower blades. You can kind of fight these things. You know, you, could, you can pull on the, the belt, and you can kind of pull it around the pulley underneath the tractor. It's certainly possible. Not ideal, um, but you can do it. You can just take a regular 3 8 ratchet wrench and if you rotate it counterclockwise it'll remove the pressure off of the belt now there is another bracket over here so this one's on the right side then you've got this bracket over here same concept although this is for the lower belt so if you have to change this belt or if you're doing other maintenance that requires you to remove that belt same thing this one will go clockwise though I find that to be really handy, so if you see those brackets under your tractor, I'd utilize them. makes life a little bit easier. To get the mower deck underneath the tractor, it's kind of a tight fit. So to make our lives a little bit easier, I'm going to turn the steering wheel all the way to one side. Now since I'm going to be bringing in the mower deck from the left side of the tractor, I'm going to turn the wheel all the way to the right. We're ready to slide the mower deck under. Rolls pretty easy on a smooth surface like this, but even if you're in the grass, generally it's not too bad. I like to go slow just to make sure I'm not going to bump into any pulleys. And also, you may have to wiggle a little bit to clear tires. I was rubbing on the back tire just a little bit, but that little bit of wiggle motion there, that got me where I needed to be. With the mower deck underneath the tractor, I'm going to rotate the steering wheel to get those wheels pointing straight and the reason for that is it'll give me much better access to that front bracket when we get to that point. Time to install the lift arms and to do that we're going to pull out on this spring-loaded pin and when we do the arm is going to slide down into that slot and then we want the pin to pass through that arm. We can tell it did because that bracket is not moving up and down any longer and also the pin is all the way in, telling me it's passed through the arm. We're securely seated. We're going to do the other side. When installing the hanger bracket, you want to make sure it's oriented correctly. And the way to know that is that these pins are going to be at the top. So the bar theoretically should be hanging from those pins. So if it was oriented like this, that would be incorrect. Definitely want to make sure, again, those pins are at the top. Now we're going to secure the bracket by installing these pins until they snap into place. So as I showed earlier in the video, before I had the mower deck underneath, I'm going to use this 3 8 ratchet to take the pressure off of that pulley by turning counterclockwise, and that'll give me the room I need to be able to slide the belt. onto that pulley. Still took a little bit of effort, but I think a lot easier than just trying to manipulate it by hand. We're done with all the connections underneath the tractor. Next, we're going to want to rotate those anti-scalping wheels. And to do that, I'm going to have to raise the mower deck all the way up. Rotating the anti-scalping wheels, pretty straightforward. You just pull the pin out, it's spring-loaded. 
set it to the desired height. I remember mine had four holes showing before I removed the deck, so I'm going to return to the four hole position. We're going to do the same thing in all four corners. Now I'm going to adjust the lift adjustment knob to control the height of the mower deck. Right now I'm in the number one position, and that's the position you have to be in to install or remove the deck. So I'm going to rotate that to two and three quarters because that's the position it was in before I removed the deck. Also worth noting, if the mower deck is in the low position, then you won't be able to turn this knob. You're going to want to make sure that that's raised, and that will allow this knob to rotate. With everything installed, the last thing I'm going to do is fire the tractor up, engage the blades just to make sure everything's spinning the way it should, that the belts aren't slipping or there's nothing else weird going on. Once I confirm that, I'll be ready to start mowing. Mower deck's installed. I'm ready to cut some grass. I appreciate you taking the time to watch. If you're not already a subscriber, make sure you hit that subscribe button. That way you'll see future videos as they're released. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up button. Thanks again for watching. Be safe. Enjoy the rest of your day.